Good morning, good morning, YouTubers. This is your morning brew. Overnight, this happened. You know there's always something happening. Well, Incoming Opinion had a panel, which they were, they were discussing Jaguar and Jaguar's mess. Naisha wanted to come up on the live. They brought her up, and she spilled some tea that I don't think anybody knew. She said TJ signed that bond before she left New Mexico. I want you guys to think about that for a second. If that bond was already signed before she left New Mexico, why did she drive down to Texas? What was the reason? The real reason? Because it seems as though everybody seems to be lying concerning this bond. So I'm just going to play a small part of the panel's discussion just for you guys to hear Naisha saying out of her own mouth that the bond was signed before TJ left New Mexico. Naisha did say a lot of it is not true. The real question is what part is not true? What part is TJ pretending is true that is not true? And then incoming opinion asked her how does she feel about people thinking that it's all fake? And she said she wished it was fake. But then a couple of minutes ago, she did say a lot of it is not true. So which is it? Is it true, not true, or fake, not fake? But I think maybe the parts that are true that she's talking about have to do with what's going on with Jaguar and her children and TJ sitting around, standing by, sitting and just watching it go down and not really saying anything much. She's saying, but not enough to stop Jaguar. And any mother in that position would have taken out two teeth by now if you speak ill about their child. Look what happened to Erica Menno and Spice. Erica Menno went for the juggler just by Spice saying, your child don't love you. And that's nothing in comparison to what Jaguar is doing to them kids. So then incoming opinion asker, did she get into this? But is she involved in order to get a YouTube channel and get it monetized in order to gain some type of money? And she said, no, absolutely not. But now she has a channel. She is monetized and she's making money off of it. So I don't know if I fully believe that. Because if you're going to lie about one thing, you're going to lie about the other thing. And the omission of her not coming forth, saying initially that the bond was already signed before TJ left New Mexico is an omission. And it directly implicates her in this not coming forth, in this silence, in this lying by omission. So then... Naisha began to explain that she was being supportive before TJ drove herself down there to Texas, where Jag was. She said she was being a, a supportive partner. Well, how supportive were you being? You're going to support your partner cheating on you? Because that's what she was doing. When she decided to go down there to Texas, she was going down there to cheat. So that's what you're saying you were supported of? I don't understand. Make it make sense to me, folks. Drop your comments in the comment section. Make it make sense to me. Don't forget to hit the like bell on your way in. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet. But make this crap make sense to me. This the story is getting more and more bizarre. Naisha have said that before that TJ have left her for somebody else. So this is nothing new. And just come right back after the relationship fizzles out. So maybe that's why she let her go. Well, she didn't really let her go. She just couldn't stop her. Because you can't stop people who don't, who don't want to stay and who want to leave. But this whole thing is not adding up. Two and two is not equal in four. Naisha did not say this in the beginning. Nor TJ. I don't even think Jaguar nor these other two guys know that this happened, that the bond was signed before TJ left New Mexico because no one mentioned it. Now we're getting wind of it. 
So then Aisha told the panel, she told TJ to go do her thing. She's going to support her in no matter what she wants to do. If you're going to support someone, no matter what, no matter what they do, that means you are in cahoots with what they're doing and you are in agreement. I was like, okay, I'm going to do your, do your thing. I'm going to support you and what you feel like you want to do. I'm going to support you if you feel that's what you want to do. Now, does that make sense, guys? That she would be cussing Jaguar out and she already gave TJ her support to be with Jaguar. What sense did it make with all the cussing out that she was going back and forth up to recently with Jaguar? Doesn't make any sense. Then Aisha said there was no plot. How do you plot against someone that's getting out of jail? Just getting out of jail. Well, you tell me, Naisha, because you were okay with TJ going down there to be with Jaguar by your own admission. No matter what she does, it was all right with you. So why were you cussing Jaguar out? You knew TJ went down there to be with her. You yourself said the bond was signed before she left New Mexico. And when she packed her bags to leave and said she was going down there to be with Jaguar, it wasn't to sign the bond. It was to be a companion. Whether it was short term or long term, I don't know what was in her mind because she's tight lipped. But the point is, she went down there to be with Jack. So why were you doing all that cussing? Was that a show? To be so outraged that the public would be sympathetic and looked at you as the woman who was left the woman who was set aside and the woman who had to take care of those kids and her lover ran off with the other woman and left. So you were looking for sympathy. That's how I'm looking at this. You were looking for sympathy and you got a lot of sympathy. You got cash app. People are now trying to raise money for you to get a car. You got Amazon wish list. You got uh, SDW saying that you are his new baby mama or you are the new woman in his life or, you know, anyway, what he was doing or saying pretty much was he was lending a hand and you have his support. He was going to support you. But now that you came out with this new res revelation, I don't know if he's going to lend you a hand anymore. And I don't know if a whole lot of people are going to be supporting you anymore because it looks like if you were sitting on some important tea, just to drum up support and sympathy. Now, if TJ didn't open her mouth and say that she kicked in three TVs two days before she left and jacked up baby girl, you would have never said so because you said TJ was the better parent and you were not as good as TJ. You didn't say that TJ kicked in three TVs before she had just left, nor she jacked up baby girl before she just left. TJ is the one who came out with that tea. So you hiding a whole lot of secrets. A whole lot of secrets. That tells me you don't want to throw TJ completely under the bus. Because you still have hopes of her coming back. Why? Because she did it before. You said she did this before. She's always doing this. That's what you said. If she's always doing it, that tells me she have cheated on you more than once and ran off with a person more than once. If she had done it one time, you would have said, she did this to me before. I remember a time when she, and you would have continued that sentence. But the fact that you say, she's always doing this, that always with an S at the end, says that it has been done time and time again, many times before. So when Naisha was coming on initially, crying over TJ, telling Jaguar she was a home wrecker, she... Uh, destroyed her family. She took her wife and Obi are married. To come, come to find out they weren't even married. So when she was painting this picture of this lovely home, this intact nucleus family, which was not true, and she was sobbing her eyes out. That was an act. It was a lie. I'm wondering if they had planned it together or if she just winged it. You know, made up the story as she went along. Anything that popped in her head, she said. Maybe that's what she did. Or maybe they planned it. I don't know. 
but I knew it was a lie now because it was not a happy home. They were not married and TJ confirmed that. And she forgot to tell us that TJ had kicked in two, three TVs two days before she departed and jacked up baby girl. So now I'm wondering the motive. Behind every action, there's a reaction. So we're seeing the actions and the reactions from this saga. But what was the underlining factor that precipitated all of this? Did they plan it together? Did they have a meeting of the mind and say, listen, you go down there, you set yourself right with Jaguar. She's going to like you. You come on to her and we can maybe start a YouTube channel and get some money flowing in. She's going to give you the ropes, show you the ropes. And you're going to get content because she's going to start beef with you because she's not a peaceful woman. We don't know to the lengths in which this plan went. And the reason why I'm saying this is because of what Naisha said. She said that no matter what TJ did, she was in her corner. She was going to be supportive as a mate in her life. So Jaguar feels she's being used. That's why she's cussing TJ out like this, because she feels that she was an op for SDW and OKP. But her reasoning is wrong. Now I have to rethink my original scenario. This is my new theory that TJ had a fight with everybody in the house. She kicked in three TVs, like she said, jacked up baby girl. She was so heated that she told Naisha she's packing her bags and she's leaving. Naisha understood that to mean that, okay, you're going to leave. You're going to cool off. Where are you going? She said, I'm going down there to Texas because she had no place else to go. So that was the only place left because I believe she and Jaguar had conversations to let her know or let her in that direction that when you get out, we can get together. So TJ, I believe, went down there on a hope and a prayer that everything was going to go right with Jaguar. That's why she didn't really take all her belongings because she was still feeling the relationship out with Jaguar to see how far it was going to go. But she got caught up. She had more feelings for Jag more than what she had originally intended because Naisha said anything she does, I'm going to take her back no matter what. So in TJ's mind, I'm thinking she went down there to have an affair and when it was all worked out her system, she was going to go back to Naisha. She had all her clothes. She didn't take everything. And this is why I don't believe she had originally planned on abandoning baby girl, the 17 year old, because she had all intentions of having her little affair, her little fling, and then going back home. That's why she didn't take baby girl with her. If she was leaving for good, she would have taken her daughter with her and gotten an apartment, put her daughter in that apartment and then have her fling with uh, Jaguar while she goes back and forth as a single parent. She would have taken her to uh, to Texas, but she had no intentions of ta of uh, staying away for an extended period of time. And that's why she had a little couple of bags back, and she left baby girl just to cool off. And like Naisha said, she always does it, but she comes back home. So when she went down there and they were in the best hotels and we saw the beautiful decor, oh, they were laughing at people and saying, oh, we live in a shelter, we live in a little cardboard box, and they were just showing the beautiful space that they had in the hotel room. And it was a beautiful, um, I think maybe that was the executive suite. It was really nice, but it was only one time they showed it. I think they could only afford like one night, you know, like we can't do two. We can only do a $500 suite one night. Or maybe they paid half the amount and they got a really good rate, you know, off peak in between the week, you know, like a Wednesday. It wasn't a weekend. And a lot of maybe uh, visitors weren't in town. So what I'm thinking is they got a good deal. But TJ overstayed her welcome as the folks would say and she started running out of money because all her check or all her money was going back to Naisha because Naisha was taking care of them kids including her 
adopted daughter. So she had to send money home. Well, what she did not see coming was how messy this thing was going to get. That her kids' business would be dragged in the mud all over YouTube streets. And Jaguar would make it very, very clear that everything is to be told. She didn't see that part coming. So when all the business of the kids were aired out, then Naisha didn't want anything to do with her because she exposed the children. Although TJ was very steadfast and telling Jaguar, do not bring my kids into this. Do not expose my children. Jaguar always found a way of meandering a maneuver and slicking her way through and exposing those kids. Exposing whatever it was, TJ told her she found a way to expose. So Jaguar outslicked her in that department. So now she's between a rock and a hard place. She don't want to stay with Jaguar, but she can't go back home because of everything that came out. So now she was kind of forced to stay with Jaguar because of the circumstances. But this is where Jaguar messed up. TJ would have stayed with her no matter what because she was now committed because she threw the kids under the bus not directly, indirectly, but because she was now committed because of it, Jaguar thought of her as an op and started to go after her, really public humiliating her. And so it came to a boil yesterday when TJ was leaving for the 26th time. She couldn't take it anymore because they had argued all night and Jaguar said, you're a spy, you're an op, you're only here because you were sent by these two guys. TJ couldn't, she didn't have any proof that she wasn't sent. So Jaguar kept cussing her out. So Jaguar said, you're an op and you don't know it. You don't know that you're a spy. The kids sent some money for TJ to get out. They put it on a card, I'm presuming, for her to get out because she had no money and she wanted to leave Jaguar. But Jaguar kept the card and TJ left without a card. So we're going to see this morning if she's really gone or if she's there still. If she's there still, I came up with a theory that they're role playing, you know, like uh, master and slave. Jaguar is the master, she's the slave. So we're going to see. If she's still there this morning, then we know, uh, or I will know that my theory was correct. They are role playing. So these are the reasons why TJ said she kicked in three TVs two days, two days prior to leaving to go to Texas. TJ said before she left, she had kicked in three TVs. So Naisha is trying to paint a picture as though she was so supportive. But there was really trouble in paradise before TJ left. It was not hunky-dory as Naisha is trying to, try to paint this picture. When TJ left, she said... Before she left, she had kicked in three TVs, which she replaced because she felt as though she wasn't appreciated. Everybody was ignoring her. Naisha wasn't cooking nor cleaning or doing anything like that. She wasn't giving her any type of affection. And the kids were disrespecting her. So she just blew up and demolished all the TVs. And before she left, she replaced them. But guys, this story is getting stranger and stranger by the moment. Drop your comments. What do you all think about this crazy development that Naisha dropped on incoming opinion panel? If you're coming on to the page, hit the like, hit the like, hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so as yet. Let me replay that clip with Naisha telling the world now that the bond was signed before TJ left New Mexico. Let's take a listen. I was like, okay, I will do your, do your thing. I'm going to support you and what you feel like you want to do. So someone in the panel pointed out the fact that she was right. This person on the panel was right in what she was saying before that Jaguar and TJ planned on a hookup 
And that's what I had said in previous videos, that they must have been intimate, not physically, but it was a mental intimacy going on that they were talking to each other and flirting and who knows what else was said. For TJ to go all the way down there, it was more than just signing a bond. Because guys, remember the bond, according to Naisha, was already signed before TJ left for Dallas, left for Texas. And according to Jaguar, they were intimate within that 24 period hour period of time after she got there. I thought like everyone else, she had to go down there to sign the bond. But I looked it up on the internet, on Google after Naisha said the bond was already signed. I said, you know, let me look it up to make sure if that's even possible. This is what Google said. And I guess anything is possible because we're living in an information age and digital age. But this is what it says. On Google, in my Google search, digital copies of bond agreements effortlessly move between parties who have the option to sign electronically. In some cases, there's not a single piece of paper involved in the entire process. So I guess that's good information for those out there who needs to sign a bond and they're living in a different state. Just know you can do it electronically, folks. Who knew? We're living in an information and digital age. You can do almost anything now over the web. So another thing the panel said, in Common Opinions panel said, is that they believe that TJ left Dallas and drove back home and then left again. But I think what TJ actually said was that she was on her way home. And then she had second thoughts. And she was on the phone with Jaguar when she turned around on the road. So she didn't have any intentions of staying because she did not pack the type of clothes you would think if a person was leaving permanently. And this is why Naisha was so upset initially because that came as a shock to her that this woman who was supposed to go on this weekend or short stay for a week and just, um, I guess, have her a little fling because Naisha knew she didn't go down there to sign no bond. She went down there for a hookup and it was okay with Naisha as long as she came back home. No problem. Because Naisha said she always do this mess, always do this ish. So I guess now we know the truth in this particular matter. I wonder how many secrets these people are hiding. Between all of them, I'm not talking about one person, I'm talking all of them are harboring and holding secrets that have not been revealed. And I guess it's none of our business, but it made it our business once they start opening up their lives on the internet. So I think this is going to backfire on Aisha. I think this is something that she should have kept to herself. If TJ wasn't telling, she shouldn't tell this particular thing either because now it's going to make her look as the, if she's keeping all these secrets. And the people who were her supporters, biggest supporters, might not want to support her anymore because now the, she's coming off to be a liar. By omission, if you're going to keep something like this from those who support you the most, what other secrets are you keeping that they should be aware of? Like I said before, it's none of our business, but they made it our business when they get on the booktube, YouTube, the internet, and let us know all about their lives. I was like, okay, I go do, your, do your thing. I'm going to support you and what you feel like you want to do. So guys, drop your comments. What do you think about all of this? It's a big mess. And it's bound to get even more messier. I'm over and out. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Hit the like bell. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so as yet. I'll see you all on the next one. Thank you for watching.